there. My name is Mary Lynn, and I'm the program developer here at EcoJ, and I'm here for Goat Gab with our goats. This is Oli, and Oli is our only boy goat, and um, you can see he has a beard, but that's actually not a sign that he's necessarily a boy because a lot of girl goats also have beards, just like this. Actually, April Rose over there has a beard. He also has a beard and she's a girl. So beards don't just mean that they're a boy goat. It just um, depends on the kind of goat. And then we have April Rose right over there and um, she's all white. And then our last goat is right over here. Her name is Patty Kay and she's all black. So Let's talk about the horns on the goat because you can see that Oli only has this weird curved horn on the top of his head. And that's because he was disbudded when he was, and disbudding means dehorning the goats, when he was just a little goat. And that's usually when goats are disbudded, but his didn't take all the way. So his started just growing just a little bit. That's why he only has this little tiny horn. Um, usually goats are disbudded because for safety reasons, for safety of the other goats and for safety of the farmer. So that's why goats are disbudded. Um, but our other two goats, Patty Kay, right over here, and April Rose, who's right over there, they both have their horns, so they weren't disbudded when they were a little goat. Instead, we just um, they just let their horns grow in. Um, but we do have to watch it when we're working with them, because if she all of a sudden picks up her head, and I'm not thinking that she has horns on her head, then that could get caught in my pants or in my shirt or in my face. So I have to I have to be careful when I'm working with her. And, and remember that she has horns. Why are goat eyes so freaky? As you can see, they have horizontal pupils and their eyes are on the sides of their head. Both of these factors allow them to have a wide, wider field of vision. There is just a narrow blind spot behind the head. This panoramic view allows them to watch out for predators while they are foraging. And the shape of their pupils also allows them to take in more light. Meanwhile, they aren't absorbing as much light from above their heads, which keeps the sun from bleaching out their view of the grass around them. The other awesome thing about their eyes is that they rotate their eyes when they bow their heads down to graze, so that they're keeping their eye slits nearly parallel to the ground at all times, no matter the position of their heads. That way, they can keep a lookout for predators even when they're eating. They also have a really good night vision, but they can't see the difference between red and green. To them, it appears more yellow. A lot of people, one of the myths about goats is that if you get a goat, they will mow your yard. And that would be great if it was true, but it is not true. Um, goats are not really grazers, they are foragers. And you can see Oli foraging right now. And he likes to take the very tips, the greenest parts, off of the plants and then the goats usually eat down so they take the, the greenest parts off of the plants and then they eat down from there if we let our goat out goats out at our farm they would eat um, all of our flowers and bushes but they wouldn't really eat that much grass goats use their lips like hands another myth is that goats will eat anything and that is not true they're actually very picky eaters but goats will often taste things with their mouth or nibble things with their mouth first in order to see if it's something good to eat. So just like babies will mouth things, goats will mouth things too to see if it's good, but they're actually very picky eaters. Goats also um, have been known to climb trees. They are really good climbers. Not here in the United States, but in Morocco, goats have been known to climb way up in trees in order to get leaves. And you can see Patty Kay has no problem getting leaves off of this tree. How smart are goats? Well, scientists have been doing studies that have been finding out more about goats. For example, one study showed that goats can read humans' facial expressions, just like dogs and horses can, and that goats prefer smiling faces to sad faces or angry ones. 
So when you're here at EcoJ, make sure to smile at our goats. Another study showed that the goats will sometimes look to humans for help. For example, if you have a dog who wants food that it's out of reach, the dog will look at you, then look at the food, and look at you again, back and forth as if saying, see that food? Please get it for me. Researchers found that goats do the same thing. Goats also have a good long-term memory. One study showed goats figuring out how to get food out of a puzzle box. 10 months later, they gave the goats the puzzle box again, and the goats remembered how to get the food out right away. And goats can be taught their name, and they can come when called. Some fun facts about goats. More people consume goat milk than the milk from any other animal. The lifespan of a goat is about that of a dog. Each kid or baby goat has a unique call and scent. That is how the mother goat recognizes it. She doesn't use her sense of vision to recognize her baby. So thank you for joining me today. I hope when we open back up again, you're able to come and see our goats and then you'll be able to, to say hello to them by name because you'll know how to tell them apart. Have a good day.